Hey guys, it's Joey for Digital DJ Tips and welcome to your first day with Virtual DJ 8. By the end of this short video, you will have accomplished three things. Number one, you'll have set up and installed Virtual DJ 8 on your machine. Second, you're going to be able to have put your music into Virtual DJ 8 and maybe even play a song or two. And lastly, if you have a DJ controller, you will have hooked it up by this time. But before we begin, let me just talk about the differences between the free version and the paid version of Virtual DJ 8. The free version comes in the form of the home user license. When you're using the home user license, it means that you can only use Virtual DJ 8 for non-commercial purposes, meaning you can't take it out to a gig and you can't earn any money from it. Further, if you use it with a DJ controller, you have a 10-minute restriction, meaning if you go past the 10-minute mark, you're going to have to restart Virtual DJ 8 again in order to use it. Now, if you want to use your DJ controller without the time limit, you can go ahead and purchase the Home Advanced User License, which basically lets you use Virtual DJ 8 with one DJ controller for as long as you want. Do note that you still can't use this for commercial purposes. So if you plan on taking it out to a gig or at a club, you can't do that. What you can do is you can purchase a professional license if you plan on using Virtual DJ 8 with your DJ controller for commercial purposes. Now for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to focus on using the home user license. If you want to know more about the differences between the free version and the paid version, I suggest you go and check out the full article over at Digital DJ Tips or you go to the Virtual DJ website. Okay, now let's go ahead and download Virtual DJ 8 and install it on your computer. All right, let's go ahead and download Virtual DJ 8 from the website and install it on our computer. I'm going to open my browser, head on over to the Virtual DJ website, like so. Let it load. Head to the download link, download Virtual DJ, and that one. And then choose the version depending on what computer you're using. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to get the Mac version. Obviously, if you're in a PC, you should go ahead and download the PC version. But like I said, I'm on a Mac, so let's just download the Mac one. Left click. It's going to take you to the download portal. Click it again. And just wait for the download to start. Click keep, okay, then just wait for it until it completes downloading. All right, with the download complete, go ahead and click on it at the bottom of the bar if you want to install. All right, you're going to be shown this screen, so go ahead and click continue. Scroll down through the software license agreement. Okay, I've read that, yep. Click continue and then agree. Click on install, and yes, sorry, I have a password in here. All right, so that starts the installation process, and as you can see, it's really quick. Just go ahead and click close. There, now you've installed Virtual DJ 8 on your system. If you're using a Windows machine, you're going to have a slightly different installation screen and process, but it's mostly the same. Great, now that we've installed Virtual DJ 8, it's time to launch it for the very first time and create your own virtual DJ account. Okay, now if you don't have your own virtual DJ account just yet, let's go ahead and create one. So let's go to our finder window, applications, and launch virtual DJ 8 by double clicking it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this button below, create a virtual DJ account. Create a login, my email, com and click send confirmation code. So what this does is it sends an email to you with a code that you can input here at the bottom in order to create your account. So just click OK over here, open your browser and check your mail. Okay, and then I have this email from Virtual DJ which says Virtual DJ confirmation code. So I'll just go ahead and click that. You have your code over here, highlight it, copy by pressing Control C, Go back to Virtual DJ and paste that over at the confirmation code field. And then click this button, create my account. So if all goes well, that screen goes away and now you're logged in 
to Virtual DJ 8 with your own Virtual DJ account. Okay, so far we've installed Virtual DJ 8 on your computer and you've created your own Virtual DJ account. Now it's time to set up your sound card. So let's go ahead and click on this gear icon over here, which brings us to the settings menu. This one opens, and as you can see here, over in the middle, you have choices for using an internal sound card, a steer to mono splitter, or two sound cards. So just go ahead and click internal sound card, click apply, and that's it. All right, cool. With all the installation and setup done, it's time to get your music into Virtual DJ 8 so you can start spinning. Okay, now let's get some songs onto Virtual DJ 8. There are three ways to do it. The first one is through the folders list, which is this window over here on the left. So this lists all of the folders that you have on your hard drive, which are being recognized by Virtual DJ 8. So all you have to do is click on one of them. Let's use this music folder. And as you can see, it lists all the tracks that you have in that folder. So just go ahead, load it over here, press the play button, and you can play it. The next way is through iTunes. Uh, it's also here on the folders list. So just go ahead and click. There's a plus sign. Left click it to expand and click on music. And now you have all the songs and playlists that you have made in iTunes available to you on Virtual DJ 8. So that's pretty cool and handy, specifically if you know, you've been doing all of your playlisting and you know, um, organizing within iTunes. So that's pretty cool. Lastly, you can just drag and drop tracks from Finder. So just go ahead, go to your Finder window over here, and just, you know, click and drag. That's it. Okay, now that I've shown you how you can put songs into Virtual DJ 8, let me show you how you can analyze them in order to get more track data and also to speed up loading times. So let's go ahead and go to my music folder again. And check out this folder I have here, new Beatport downloads. So uh, let's drag a track, let's say this one, anytime. As you can see, I only have the song titles here, the artists, and the length and BPM, but nothing else aside from that. Like I don't have the song's key and all that stuff and the gain as well. So what analyzing does is it generates a waveform so that you can see what your song looks like as a visual representation. And it also uh, adjusts the gain for you and also determines the song's key. So you can do this one by one by dragging tracks and you know um, doing it individually, but it's gonna take a lot of time. So what I like to do is whenever I have some new tracks that I want analyzed, I put them in a folder as I've done and I highlight them by clicking the first track and going over to the last one, holding the shift button and left clicking. So this selects all the tracks within that folder. Now I just right click, go to batch, and click analyze for BPM, etc. So you're gonna see a progress window over here. Let's just wait for this one to finish. Okay, so now you have all of this data, which Okay, now you have all of this data, which Virtual DJ 8 analyzed for you. If you take a look at this window over here on the right, you can see that you have um, the key field here already, as well as the time that you first uh, put this into the library. So, you know, that's pretty handy, you know, especially if you're dealing with like a large amount of music and you want to find out which songs you haven't played yet. So just go ahead and click and drag this. Yeah. So, you know, it's certainly a lot faster when it comes to loading as opposed to a track that hasn't been analyzed just yet. Okay, if you want to use a mouse and keyboard to mix with Virtual DJ 8, you certainly can. Let me show you a few keyboard shortcuts that you can use. Okay, once you've loaded the track onto a deck, press the space bar in order to play it. Press the space bar again to stop. If you want to control the other deck, in this case, deck B, go ahead and press the tab button on your keyboard. You'll see the letter B being highlighted. This means deck B is now the focus of all of your keyboard commands. So if you press space bar again, it plays the track on deck B. So let's stop that right now. If you want to set a cue point, go ahead and press command and number one, cue point one, 
and two, three, four, five, six are as many key points as you want. Now, if you want to go to them, just hold the Alt button and press the corresponding key point that you want to access. Key one, two, three, and so on. If you want to erase them, grab your mouse and right click on the cue point numbers. So that erases all the hotkeys. There. Now, if you want to crossfade in between the tracks, just use your mouse, drag it all the way to the right. If you want to play the track on the right deck, or if you want to play the track on deck A, if you want to hear it through the speakers, I mean, just go ahead and drag it all the way to the left. Now, as you notice, they're not properly beat matched. Uh, if you want, you can use the sync function. Let me just stop this right now. By pressing shift and the play button. So now this is synced to the master clock, which is 128 BPM. Let's go ahead and try that. So as you can see, Virtual DJ 8 automatically syncs both checks. If you want to check out all the other hotkeys that you have for your keyboard, head on over to the Preferences menu and click on Controllers, as I've done, and click on Keyboard, and you can see all of these hotkeys. So if you want, you can uh, list this down or you know just memorize them. So you can use your keyboard while you DJ. Okay, so far we've used Virtual DJ 8 without a controller. Now, if you have a DJ controller and you want to use it, here's how. Right, right now I have a Pioneer DDJ SR that I want to connect to my laptop. So all I have to do is connect the USB leads that come with it. So connect this one here. All right, and the other one behind the unit. You'll see this one. It's a new device detected. You just plug in DDJ SR, so that's fine. Uh, this has a sound card on board, so yes, I do want to use uh, my DDJ SR as a sound card. So I'll just click this one here. And since you know uh, we're using the home version, the free one, uh, it has this uh, warning over here, meaning this will expire after 10 minutes. So let's just go ahead and click OK. Just to double check, go to the Preferences menu again. Take a look at controllers. So as you can see, my Pioneer DDJ SR is here and highlighted. Check audio. And as you can see, this is also highlighted here, meaning all of my sound now passes through the DDJ SR sound card. So that's very good. So click that there. And then use the controller as you normally would. Okay, now a cool feature that Virtual DJ has that other DJ software don't is that you can change the way it looks. All you have to do is go to the Preferences window, go back to that gear cog over there, click Interface as I've done, and click this drop down arrow. And as you can see, you can change it depending on what you want. You can even get this tablet view, which is perfect if you're using it with you know, um, a Microsoft Surface or some other tablet PC. That's pretty cool. Now, aside from the ones that come stock with Virtual DJ 8, you can go online to download more skins. All you have to do is click this link over here, the lower right. So this opens a new browser window and shows you all of these skins here. First, you're gonna wanna sign in. So I'll just sign in again with my account. Now you can see why creating a Virtual DJ account is very, very important. Now that I've logged in, I can go ahead and check out some of the skins that we have here. Let's take a look at this one. All right, how about this one, Dark Default HD? So all I have to do is click on the appropriate OS again. Icon here, I'm using a Mac. So if you're using Windows PC, go ahead and click this one. But then again, I'm using a Mac, so just left click. Okay, now that it's done, let's left click it. And installation successful. That's great. Now you're going to want to restart Virtual DJ 8. Let's reopen it again. Okay. Go to interface. And as you can see, this is the one that we just downloaded. So go ahead and click on it, and you're going to see it load. So it's an entirely new look for Virtual DJ altogether. So go ahead, 
you know, go back to the skins page and, you know, download everything that you want. All right, guys, so I hope this video helped you get up and running real quick with Virtual DJ 8. So just to recap, we did three things today. Number one, we got Virtual DJ 8 set up and installed on your computer. Next, we got your songs onto Virtual DJ 8 and got to play. Lastly, we connected your DJ controller onto your laptop and got it up and running with Virtual DJ 8. Please check out the full training article over at digitaldjtips.com for more details. I'm Joey. Thanks again for watching.